Unbelievable Shipyard. I'm here with my good friend Alexander Perez from BCE and we are here in Shipyard. This is actually where I uh, was born, very close to here. I wanted to come back and see how uh, things looked here today and it is amazing. The uh, farmers, how they have progressed here and what they're doing for the country. It's just absolutely unbelievable. Yes, and for us a big privilege to see a partnership to help us in the work of the children as we continue working in the city and the whole country of Belize where young people come in the summer and benefit from fresh cheese, very good partnership with Belize Camping Experience and John. If you have not heard of Belize Camping Experience, it is an organization that is working with children in Belize City and the surrounding areas and Fresh Cheese and many other companies have branded with us so that we can bring hope into our city, especially with the children. The work that Jan is doing here in the cattle export, it's a big project, he needs a lot of prayers because Belize needs that. For us to move forward the country, someone has to put the hard work so that all the details, everything that it takes place so that we can move the cattle industry forward, can get all of this cattle international. This is what you're seeing. A lot of work is not finishing yet. It's still in the stage of building and building and building, but in the next few weeks, right, John? Next few weeks, this is gonna have a whole different standard to continue shipping cattle to Mexico and like that we can bring that economy right back to our country so that we can keep developing the lease. We want to see change, sometimes you got to go and do it. John, you're breaking ice. You've never done it before, but he's willing to pay the price. He's willing to pave the road for many of our cattle farmers. So keep it unbelievable and if you want to see change in Belize, it's Belize's changing Belize. That's what God uses. We are the best people to do that kind of job here in the Caribbean. Having talked with John, I just, I'm just amazed and I'm just so proud of, of our Mennonites who have worked so hard to make a difference for this country, to export cattle. Everyone can benefit from that. Very proud of John and uh, had amazing cheese here from Henry's uh, Cheese Factory. Just Shipyard, excellent progress. It's amazing. Zaya Dang trying to all the customers and Blee City with my family and Jaisikov. Zaya Dang trying. Akbal, we also have a Dang for that what I can. We hope to learn from the Menschen and they support what I can learn hard or they may have Zaya in your state matter. We are here to bring the export down. And uh, when they didn't have to say that they had to check, they would not have to say that So I can say that I am very thankful for that. What the Menschen had to do for me, that I could not bring what they brought. Jan, thank you so much for a wonderful interview for us to understand the behind the scene work that takes place to produce delicious meat for the country and international. And here is information for all of you who want to taste this delicious meat. Okay, I know the expo is coming soon. If you want to taste amazing steak, the Festival of Food and Culture is coming up soon. Come to this expo. The cheese that is being grilled with steak, that is fresh cheese, Mennonite fresh cheese. And everyone is invited to the Beef and Rodeo Festival that is taking place tomorrow in Palmopan at the showgrounds. Come and meet some of the most wonderful producers of meat in the country of Belize and have a family fun day. But for now, let's continue the story with Tobias. Eh, buenas tardes, mi nombre es Tobias Gaspar Vázquez, soy médico veterinario este, de, de México. Actualmente pertenezco a la Asociación de Médicos Veterinarios de Belice. Y pues estamos trabajando aquí en el rancho de Green Hills para eh, la exportación a México. Pues es una gratificación realmente estar, eh, poner un poquito, un granito de arena para poder ayudar en la exportación y sobre todo que beneficia a los productores, este, eh, desde el pequeño productor hasta el grande productor. 
y sobre todo que eso ayuda para eh, beneficio en cuestión de, de incremento de precios, ¿no? para subir el valor comercial de los animales en cuanto a la carne. Y este, pues para mí es gratificante poder ayudar. Y mi trabajo eh, principalmente este, es en verificar que la salud de los animales que se van a exportar sea la adecuada. Como primer paso, desde el inicio, desde que se recopilan los animales, eh, se analiza en general las eh, características que probablemente nos puedan indicar alguna enfermedad o alguna plaga, ya sea garrapatas, verrugas, eh, lesiones este, o algún otro indicador que nos sugiera que puede considerarse un riesgo y desde aquí se hace el primer filtro de, digamos, de seguridad sanitaria para evitar que se dispersen las enfermedades. Posteriormente analizamos cada uno de los animales desde su arete, su identificador. Hey guys, I'm Anya, a part of the Unbelievable Perezes. And I live in Belize, yes, Belize, a small part of the whole entire world. It's small, but it's fun. I hope you enjoyed the video. We put a lot of hard work in it, and we put a lot of love in it too. You want to help us. You just have to do a little bit. Subscribe underneath and share it to others, and that will mean a lot to us. Oh, and don't forget, don't be scared, and be smart, and keep it unreleasable. <laughs>